pack a bowl, my friend, and don't forget to pass the blend. Pack it up, my friend, and then we'll run. me that blend, would you? Welcome back in, y'all. It's good to see you. How you doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I myself, I'm a little worn out. <laughs> I uh, did a lot of uh, manual labor out in... Uh, my back area here of the homestead and um you know as you get older y'all you, you can't uh i mean your mind your mind tells you that you can do it eventually your body tells you not so much calm down <laughs> so i'm a, I'm a little wore out y'all i i um i probably did more than i should um out in my back area so this video is not going to be very long. I did want to stop by, touch bases with y'all, talk a little bit. But anyways, that being said, y'all, I am smoking a hodgepodge of a pipe today. Um, this was one of the first pipes I ever made before I had any tools. Um, I carved it and sanded it and... And then I threw one of my, just recently here, I threw one of my extra stems in it. Um, normally I, I have this pipe with a church warden stem on it, uh, just a stem that I had bought off Amazon, but I didn't feel like smoking a, um, uh, a Greg tunnel today. So I went ahead and, uh, put a smaller stem in it, a wedge stem. I like wedge stems, y'all. They're just so easy to come on out. Um, especially when you're a really wet smoker like myself, pipe gets, you know, to gurgling on you you can pull your stem real easy throw a pipe cleaner through it do whatever you got to do put it back and you're ready to go again um in the bowl is uh old joe Krantz brown label like i said last week i've been spending a lot of time with old joe and um i do like old joe y'all um it's good stuff it, to me it basically is like Sinead's cake but in a ribbon cut form so sometimes if i don't want to wait for Sinead's cake to dry out a little bit um i can just reach into the uh old joe right there and it's all ribbon cut pretty much ready to go um to me there's there's probably there's, there's probably some nuances between them but if you're ready to just smoke it up good to go to me they're both the same they're both basically the same and I like them. I, in fact, I tried to order some more today online, and they said they were all out of the Big Tens. So I ended up ordering some Haunted Bookshop uh, in the Large Ten uh, instead. Uh, Haunted Bookshop is a, is a real close second to Old Joe Krantz, so um, I got it. And just for the hell of it, y'all, I don't know. Y'all know that I'm not really an aromatic smoker. But I watched a video uh, with Greg Tunnel, and he was smoking this stuff that sounded really delicious. Um, cobblestones Walnut Maple Pie. I went ahead and found it, and I ordered it just for the hell of it. I may like it. I may not. We'll find out. Um, I'm more of a traditional smoke guy. I really don't do aromatics at all. But that one just sounded really good, y'all. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite pies is a pecan pie. I really like pecan pie. Um, normally you see it around Thanksgiving, you know, in my area. Um, but every once in a while, my wife will just come off the wall and she'll make it for me. Um, so it's good. Good stuff, y'all. I really like that. And it's, you know, got, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll have somewhat of that flavor. And plus, it'll be nice for my wife to smell something 
other than a strong Perique blend, you know, throughout the room. So that'll be a treat for her and possibly a treat for myself. But anyways, y'all, uh, let me light this pipe up. Real close to buying a new pipe. But I got a lot of projects here in the future, y'all, that I need to save my money for. And um, sometimes you just got to pull back, put yourself in discipline mode and realize um, <laughs> you got other responsibilities. Being an adult sucks, y'all. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I got a lot of projects that I need to save money for that I'm going to be doing in the back area and and um I've got my I'm getting my truck back. I got it back but then I really didn't get it back. So I had called them back. I called them up and said, "Look, I need to go get hay for my animals. And y'all going to give me my truck back whether it's done or whether it's not. I'm coming to get it." And uh, they really didn't want to, but they said, "Okay, all right, we'll do that." So I went down, and I picked it up. And I went and got some hay, came back, and um, I'm going to take it back to them tomorrow or the next day. Uh, so, it's still not 100%, but it was very nice, y'all, to get back in the truck. Oh, my God. I've been driving my wife's little car uh, to work, and it's just, I, I don't know how y'all drive these little cars, y'all. I just don't know how you do it. Um, you know, to get in the car, you have to dip your head just to get in it and get in this little small seat and he's got a vw passat uh it's a larger of the sedans for on the vw line but still it's just not a truck y'all i get up in my truck i have all kinds of room in there i've got that crew max cab toyota tundra and there's just tons of room in that truck and getting up in there with my cowboy hat i don't have to worry about it smacking the sides or whatever getting in there and when i get my wife's car y'all i just take the hat off and i don't even i don't even deal with it because it's gonna i can't even wear it between the head headroom there but um it was nice to have the truck back and um supposedly it's going to be completely done uh this next week here so i definitely missed her and uh it'd be good to have her back but Another thing too, y'all, I'm, I'm contemplating, you know, I really enjoy doing my crafts, as you know, my leather work, um, my sewing of, you know, wraps and uh, all kinds of stuff. And um, I'm, I'm stuck in this really small room uh, with all my crafting, uh, with all my, I've got eight sewing machines. They're not all out at one time. And, uh, but there's one two three four of them that stay up all the time uh out on tables and my leather working table uh a cutting table for cutting leather and material it's, it's all crushed into this one small room i had to come to grips with the fact that my little man cave here it's not very little it's actually a very large man cave I can only imagine here on the video, it probably doesn't look that large, but it is. Um, I have a curtain way back there with a banner hanging on it. Behind there is even more room. I had to be honest with myself, and I thought, I don't really watch a lot of movies up here. As you can tell, um, let's see if I can point. When you're pointing on camera, y'all, it's like backwards. Uh, but I've got all these theater seats right here. There's four of them. I don't know if y'all can see that. But um, And then I've got a 120-inch um, screen up over here. And a very large uh, surround sound system in here. It'll blow the roof off this place. It's kind of overkill. I, I shouldn't have bought that big of a system. Um, and uh, it's really nice. It is. It's really nice to watch uh, a movie and stuff. But I, I find that I, I spend more time downstairs, because I'm upstairs right now. I spend more time downstairs watching, uh, we got a 65-inch TV down there. And um, 
doing things down there with her with my wife uh, if i spend too much time up here she kind of gets a little upset y'all as most women will do you spend too much time in the garage spend too much in your man cave you know they go when are you gonna spend some time with me and it's right y'all it's very true we need to spend time with the ones we love and uh, sometimes we get in our man cave or our little garage spot we get lost and time just goes by just flies by but i've been thinking about tearing down my theater room and uh, moving my surround sound downstairs and <clears throat> probably selling off my theater seat seating and um i'm gonna make this my craft area so of course when we see videos now you'll see sewing machines and tables and stuff like that behind me and um i don't quite know when i'm gonna get around to doing it um but it's something i'm really thinking about it's going to give me a lot more room uh to do things and truth be told i craft more than i sit up here and watch a video or, or watch uh, a movie or something um so you know that's something i'm contemplating probably will do it i don't know exactly when but you know that'll happen um and then two I, I i didn't I, I read through the comments last week i don't think many people voted on tampers or um pipe rests. uh if y'all want to chime in again and let me know uh, i could go either or either or we could do tampers or pipe rests. that's kind of the progression of things going on right now um but uh i'd like to do that uh there's a couple of you that you, that had had uh mentioned that if you didn't win the tobacco pouch that you'd like to buy one y'all i i don't i don't know how to do that um uh, my wife i was asking her because she she does that stuff she's a beautician she takes money all kinds of different ways from her clients and i told her babe you know i don't know how to do this um you know i can ship off one or two of them pay out of my own pocket in the gauze like i do not a problem um but um <clears throat> let's just say that 10 of y'all just a round number 10 said we i'd like a tobacco pouch i'd like a wrap uh whatever um that starts to get a little beyond my pocketbook uh so i've been trying to contemplate how could i do something like this I mean, unless y'all just want to continue to wait around for the go-rounds and and uh, see if you win one. And then you get it for free. Um, I know Greg Tunnel and uh, J&D's Pipe Dream said they'd like to have one. Uh, so I'm really entertaining. I mean, I've made stuff for Greg before, so I'm not worried about that. Me and Greg can get together and, and uh, I'll get him whatever he needs. Um but uh it's something i'm thinking about what do y'all think is there has there been projects in the past that you thought man i'd really like to have one of those um if there is and i can recreate it to your specifications i have free time here and there y'all i you know i have to be able to get into my craft room do things up the only reason i've never made a business out of any of my crafting and a lot of people think i should but i the you know, one of the reasons why i don't is because i never know when i'm going to have time i have a job i work 40 hours a week i come home on my work on my homestead you know then i try to get into my craft room or i spend time with my wife we eat some dinner i could just be worn out from work watch a little tv and go to take a shower and go to sleep um so time goes by real quick if i'm commissioned to do things for people well now i'm i need to make that time i have to i'm forced to to find that time and doesn't matter if i'm worn out doesn't matter how i feel i got to get in there um and i don't flow as well in my creative juices uh when i find that i'm forced to get into uh the craft room 
But, you know, I feel bad sometimes when some of y'all say, I'd like to have one, and then I think, well, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to make it for you. I just need to find the time. But I, I have decided that here and there, and when I say here and there, maybe a couple times a month, um, if y'all want to commission me to make a wrap, um, make a tobacco pouch, anything out of leather, basically, um, uh, I'm not really a great pipe maker, y'all, so um, I think you have better avenues for that. I have fun making stems and screwing around, uh, but it's, 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 you know, I'm not a professional when it comes to that stuff. Um, but I do make really good leather products, if I do say so myself. And um, other things, and we can incorporate whatever you're dreaming of. Uh, if this is something that you would like, um, email me. And we can talk back and forth. And that's basically what, you know, Greg Tunnel did. He had a thought in his head, a dream in his head. And he said, Johnny, this is what I'd like. Can you make it happen? And I said, I'll give it hell, Greg. I'll give it hell. And we did. We took care of it. And um, he was happy with what he got. And I was happy uh, to create it for him. But, um, y'all, I just wanted to put that out there. I don't know if anybody's interested but now I've said it, it's out there. And if y'all are interested in, in, in there's something you've really been wanting and you think I could do it for you, um, just email me and uh, we'll talk about it. There's nothing wrong with asking y'all. There's nothing wrong with talking. Um, that's good stuff. But we're going to get into, uh, like I said, tampers or pipe rests. Um, I, there was one or two of you that said tampers, one that said pipe rest, and then a couple others had said something way out a lot, you know, way off of that, you know, um, the um, tobacco valets and things of that nature. And we'll get there, we'll get there, you know, it'll all come around full circle. Um, but this time, you know, I haven't done tampers in a while and I haven't done pipe rest, so. I'm going to get some of those made up. Maybe I'll make some tampers and pipe rests. And uh, we'll do those uh, next week. Um, provided I don't see any reason why I shouldn't have time to get in the craft room this week. And uh, do that up. Um, I really I really want to. And then Greg, you had said that you'd wanted a, a tobacco pouch. Let me know if you still want that. And um, maybe I'll make up a couple more. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But right now, y'all, I'm not even thinking clearly. I'm so I'm so worn out, like I said, from from doing all the work I did today. But I wanted to stop back by and uh, see what y'all are, how y'all are doing, and um, basically drop a line. Um, so hopefully next week we'll have more to talk about, pictures to be seen, things to be done, uh, things to be given away, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll figure that out. But <clears throat> y'all i hope you have a good work week coming up here um for some reason here in uh texas and the weather roller coaster is going on right now y'all it's supposed to be 91 degrees tomorrow 91 in february and then as the week progresses it's going to go down to 55 so we get this nice hot cold roller coaster it's crazy when these things happen basically winter's i think is done in texas um yeah it's crazy and it's it's not even the end of february but um here we go there we go we're probably looking towards a really hot summer y'all um last last summer was really hot probably going to see another hot one this year oh well that's the way it goes and we just wipe the sweat off our brows and we'll just keep going y'all until next week take care of yourselves and we'll see you Pack a bowl, my friend And don't forget to pass the blend Pack it up, my friend
pass me that blend, would you? <laughs> 